So, there's a video that I just watched of a young teenage girl, a teenage girl, a child no less, who is being, who was basically, I don't know what exactly was her, her crime or if there, like if there was something more to it, but her name is Penelope Soto, and she flipped off Judge Jorge Rodriguez uh, Chomat, I think I'm pronouncing that right, in court on Tuesday, and she delivered a public apology for her actions uh, yesterday, on Friday. And as a result, the judge lifted her contention, and she will no longer have to serve time. I hope that you do realize, as I said before, that what you did with the creeping on the finger, and what you said, uh, is contentious behavior. Do you understand that? Yes. <clears throat> I... <clears throat> Yes, I understand completely, and I apologize. And I hope you understand that because of that, you could be found in criminal contempt of court. As I told you before, if I were to do that, you are going to become a convicted felon for the rest of your life. Do you understand that? Yes. And uh, do you understand that convicted felon have a very difficult time in life. Yes. Difficult to get a job, difficult to maintain a job. Very difficult time. You understand that? Yes? Yes. You understand that if you were to say to your boss in a place of employment, what you said to me, you more than likely would be fired. You understand that? Yes? Yes. Do you understand that if you were to use that type of language or, or any other type of profanity with your school teachers or school instruct, college instructors if you go to college, that would be extremely disrespectful. you understand that? Yes. Now tell me what, what would you like to tell the court as to why explaining your behavior. Tell me what, how you feel. Well, my behavior was very no, irrational. No, my behavior was very irrational, and I apologize not only to the court and you, but to my family. And I normally don't act like that. So. Let me ask you a straight question. Did you use Xanax? Did you take any Xanax Sunday? Yes, I did. How many? Two. Two? Well, Ms. Cotto, <clears throat> I hope that you have learned a couple of lessons. Lesson number one is that drugs and put you in a very difficult situation. It is because of your use of Xanax, which I understand today is a party drug, can put you, can convert you, make you a felon, a convicted felon. It can put you in county jail like you have been. So what I'm trying to say to you is that you're not being given the opportunity to go to the improving life of Miami facility where they will try to help you uh, cure your addiction. Obviously, you have a drug addiction, and they will help you to cure it. But they will need your help. It is you who have the addiction, it is not them. So they need your cooperation and your uh, willingness uh, to be helped. Do you understand that? Yes. <coughs> I should not even hold you as totally responsible. We live in a society where if you listen to music, every other word is a profanity. We live in a society where young people like you 
feel that it's perfectly okay to call all kind of names to their teachers and their professors and their friends, and they feel that's okay. That's like in the high, good morning. And we live in a society where police officers in particular are abused on a daily basis, mostly by young people who believe that it is okay to call policemen all kind of names. That's totally unacceptable. Now, granted, what she may have done was immature, but she's a teenager, goddammit. All teenagers act out. Hell, I probably would have flipped off a judge in court when I was a teenager. In fact, I'm going to flip off a judge over the internet. Judge Jorge Rodriguez Ch uh, Chomat, fuck you, you fascist bastard.